amazing benefits of female inflorescence. The powerful spiritual benefits of female inflorescence. This is part of pantry where the fruits, which is pan kernel, seeds or grow from is actually called female inflorescence. The other one I have used to make video on how to scatter cut cases, police case or any form of case is actually called male inflorescence. So by God's grace, in today's video, I want to share with you how you can actually use this to do powerful different five spiritual work that stand the test of time and transform your life and be free from bad luck, get favor wherever you go, scatter every plan of the enemy and live a victorious life. If only you follow me to the end of today's video, you will know more about this part of pantry that is very, very important. Of course, you know that every part of pantry is very important. And when elders want to bless you in those days, they will always say that may you flourish like pantry. And even the Bible says will flourish like pantry and grow like cedar in the Lebanon. So follow me to the end of today's video. Let's do more justice to it. But before then, give this video a thumbs up. As you do so, may God bless you. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I'll discuss three important variables, which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit. It becomes your starting point. This is the very first time you're landing in this channel. You're highly welcome. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload new videos. For my recurring subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. For my new timers, if you are searching for any video, all you need to do is go to the side button in YouTube, type Jenny Action TV slash how to destroy court case. You will see the first video I've made about male inflorescence. Watch and get some values. So with the other show, I wasting your time. Let's delve into the video of today. You see, palm tree is one of the most powerful tree that God has created. And there is one good thing about palm tree. There is nothing in it that is a waste. From the palm floor to the root, it has powerful spiritual and physical benefit. I have even made video about the root of palm tree, how it cures toothache, use it to cure madness, and use it to cure epilepsy, and a lot of powerful things that it does. The same way, the same vein, every part of palm tree has enormous benefit. Is it the a kind of young palm fraud? Is um palm leaves? The day I will tell you about that one, even how to use it to recover eggs and many other things, you will be amazed. But today, I actually want to talk about the fluorescent. And another thing you should know about palm tree is that palm tree spiritually is a symbol of longevity, life power and victory because no matter the storm it is one tree that is not easily blown away or uprooted by any wind any storm and fall on the ground and that is why palm tree possess any most benefit sometimes when you have certain challenges just go to the palm tree and air your opinion and god will use it and the work for you because i've given us dominion over all this i've shared in one of my videos how somebody was owing me was even saying a word that is annoying as if you don't she don't want to pay i quickly go to the pantry when i was passing it's i have a kind of voice go to pantry and report it i like reported it to that particular pantry before they run that the person actually send the money and pay me so my dear there is nothing you cannot actually do with pantry and the one thing i have continuously said is this anything that is written in the scripture have high vibration frequency in the universe so much so that you will virtually use it to manifest everything and anything tested and proved um, and in order to buttress this very well do you remember that palm leaves or like palm fraud was one of the things that was used for Jesus during his triumphant entry into Jerusalem? According to John 12, verse 12 to 15, you can read it up in your leisure time and see it direct. Is it in 1 Kings 6, 29? It was actually part of palm fraud that Solomon used to build the temple, build houses, and make like doors and windows of that particular house. In Psalm 92 verse 12, the Bible actually says that the righteous shall flourish like palm tree and glow like cedar in Lebanon. If you go down to the book of Revelation, the Bible actually recorded that 
Great multitude was seen holding palm branches like rejoicing, making jubilation for victory. This month is a month of jubilation. If you must jubilate and a kind of a, have victory, believe me, using fat of palm um, or palm tree itself for your spiritual work is needed so that you will be victorious and get everything that God has planned for you. So the great question now is, how do you use this in female inflorescence? And you know that female also, also means multiplication, enlargement, abundance, and so on. That is why if you are referring to Nigeria, you want to use pronoun to, to talk about Nigerian and not now, you must say her. That is the truth. England, her. America, ha, you will not use his because of the multiplication effect, vibration that female have. Now, if the other one can scatter court case and scatter some things for you and beyond that give protection, a lot of things it does. Believe me, this one does times three of what is going is doing. But by God's grace, I'm going to give you seven credible uses of this male inflorescent. Number one is that he helps to destroy every form of shams, invocation, spells in any place. Especially if you are packing into a new home, a new shop. You know, there is one thing about a home or shop. You build a new house. Once you leave a house for some time, say month and above, above spirit tends to occupy it. And most of these spirits are actually evil spirits. And one of the ways to purge the compound and purge that house before actually entering so that you will not go there and start having unnecessary attack is just get this eh, female inflorescence and burn. And how do you burn it? You first of all go to the compound and take it like a microphone. You are talking to a microphone and speak your intention and say, oh God, the creator of the universe, that I come before you using this female inflorescence as a point of contact as it is made up of thorns and arrows, I thereby pray that every evil arrow, chance, poison, invocation that is done in this particular place I want to pack in or in this my land I want to enter, maybe you build a new house, that to that I burn it, let it destroy, neutralize permanently. And that if there are any evil or wicked spirit that is already occupying this house, as I burn this, let it scatter all of them. It's not a more that it will always be in this form. You may have the one that is also a kind of um, that has been cut into pieces like this, cut out like this. You still carry it like this and use it and speak. So when you have spoken very well your intention, set it on fire. If it's finding hard to a kind of combust, you can actually add kerosene or add some comfort to it to help it to combust. And by God's grace, any evil spirit is sacked immediately in that particular arena. Likewise, number two, if you have shop that you're already occupying and selling things, or in your house, you start experiencing some negativities, evil, a kind of um, birds coming to cry anyhow, you're experiencing a kind of sham. Somebody visited your house and you're feeling uncomfortable that this person has drawn sham. You feel that sham or poison or invocation has been done in that house. Your dreams are showing you that something is wrong. If only you can lay hand on this and burn it and let the smell circulate that entire house, it will immediately neutralize it. And especially in that your shop, it will also neutralize every chance and invocation that will block sales to you. Maybe somebody have gone and do chance for only that person to be selling. Immediately you burn it, those chance neutralize. As you see this thing like tons like this, that is how we send those evil arrow back to the person and spiritually be like tons to deal with anybody that will come back to redo another one. And for completely three months, it remains active. It is only after three months that you may decide to burn another one. So that is another thing that it does. Another thing that it does is that if you have a land, you have tried to sell this land, you are it, you are not able to sell it. You have a building, you have tried to sell it. Sometimes people, evil spirit who occupy that land, occupy that house, will be pursuing people, blocking people from buying it because they feel that when those people buy it, they can come on and do some cleansing and they will no longer inhabit that place. All you need is this eh, female inflorescent. Take it to that particular place. Hold it like microphone, 
pray your intention, set it ablaze. It will scatter. And these stones is like this. That's how these stones will look for all those evil spirits, evil powers, or brute poison, invocation, everything, and suck it, suck them from there. And then you will see customers, as this thing is uncountable, that's how customers will now be drawn to you, and they will come and price and buy that house by God's grace. Another thing it does is that if you are suffering from causes, you are sure that the things you are passing through as, as a result of causes, it may be generational cause, it may be cause you laid by yourself or somebody laid on you, and maybe you're supposed to have gotten married, you have not gotten married, your family is passing through some trend, and you are, you are seeing these evidences of these causes through promise and fail, disappointment, failure, you marry, you are not giving birth, and any other problem in life. All you need to do is burn this particular inflorescent into ashes. When you burn it into ashes, then get that particular ashes, mix it with red oil. Red oil still from palm tree. Begin to rub it all over your body, praying exactly what you want, that you want these causes to be drained away. You want to be favored. You want to be transformed. You want to be a new person. Then when you have a kind of rub it on your entire body, carrying for at least three hours, praying very well that God will liberate you, using Psalm 92, using Psalm 51, that God will have mercy on you, and then using Psalm 24, that every Asian does, every Asian gate should be lifted up, that King of glory might come in and do the work of deliverance in your life, that the whole earth belongs to the Lord and fullness thereof, that you surely eat the good of the land, that you no longer suffer all these things that you are going through. Then when you have prayed fervently, then get a native black soap. And that leads me to the 15 it does. That is what is spawned into ashes and used to make the native powerful black soap that it break causes do a lot of spiritual things that sometimes if you want any spiritual work to be the most effective use native black soap one of the reasons why i always say use the soap that you have is because i know that there some people is not easy in their location for you to assess it but if almost all your spiritual work you are using native black soap to bet my dear hey 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 no power will be able to stand you you will always be victorious all around. So when you get that native blast, so make sure you get native sponge. Of course, you also know that native sponge is made from palm tree. So by the time you are batting, you are praying your intention, batting that particular yeah, problem out, praying your intention, even if it's untimely there. Now, so long as palm tree live very long without dying, no storm, shake it, no storm, that does, I bat it, I bat off, I bat off untimely death, I declare that I will live long. My blessing will be like that of palm tree because you see that elders in the village, whenever they want to bless somebody and mention that you will be like palm tree, it means that you will be fruitful, that you will live long, you are victorious, all right. So you begin to pray and bat it by God's grace. Every spell, invocation, sham causes that is operating in your life will expire immediately. Another thing it does is that if you are suffering from spiritual marriage, hey, this is one of the most powerful tools of ending spiritual marriage once and for all. Though it's not easy to end it once and for all, like I know my tells you, spirituality is a lifestyle. When you have done your self deliverance, you need to be prayerful and vibrant so that each time they come, you are already on fire. And then from time to time, maybe once in three months, you redo some recipe that repels spiritual marriage. And by the time that spiritual marriage has lasted 39 years, let's assume that they engage when you are 20 years, then at 39, when you are 59 years, because that is apparently the a kind of gestation period of spiritual marriage, they will leave you and go and look for a younger one. After all, spirit doesn't die. It's human being that dies. Spirit doesn't age. And sometimes, let me tell you one secret you don't know. If you see your a fellow female, maybe a female making love to you, um, or you a male, fellow male, making love to you in the dream. They are all the same spiritual marriage because spiritually, nothing like male or female. So sometimes in order to deceive you, they will turn to your the same gender to come. They are still the same. It is still the same spiritual marriage that is disturbing you. Now, if you want to destroy spiritual marriage, all you need to do, I have made mention of it in my other video, is get it like this. This one that is already cut out into pieces like this. 
So when you have gotten it like this, you now blend it, take it to people that grind, and they will grind it for you into powder. Then come back to your house, get your spiritual bucket, and soak it for complete seven days with enough water for you to bed. For that seven days, you get a big pot, a big anything, big butter, any big basin. When you know that you have gotten enough quantity, you now soak it. After seven days, every night before you go to sleep, get some sizable quantity of that water. If your body is dirty, bed first with your normal soap, sponge and everything, then use this as a resin bed as you are betting you begin to pray that every form of spiritual husband and spiritual spouse is over in my life. That as I use this, may my eye become torn spiritual. Make sure you wash your private part very well, every nook or cranny of your body, by God's grace. Go and sleep. Spiritually, your body becomes tons as it is now. See the tons. Any man, any force, any power that comes to try to attack you, these tons will shook that person. And apparently, it makes it to become untouchable because it will not only drive away spiritual marriage from you, every other attack, witchcraft or evil attack, will not be able to succeed in your life because they will be facing tons all over their body. This is one reason why you can do with all this male inflorescence. The last but not the least is that it gives lots of favor. Like as it is right now, you can actually carry it like this, boil it. That's fuel a bucket of water, especially water from the natural source, either from the height or depth, well water or sea water or pure rain water. Then you use it to boil some of it as it is now. You can just get seven of these sizes. You get it out seven pieces like this. So when you have gone to your counter seven, you now wash it very well with salt and water. After you have washed it, you now, when it cools down, add salt to it. Either kitchen salt or a spotter spoon of powder sea salt or three pieces of countable sea salt. Put your right middle finger and pray that God will give you favor wherever you go. Especially if why you are looking not getting favor is because of projection. In Igbo, there is what they call Iana or Ewosh. People will now rob you, they tea, a kind of make you like a masquerade. If that's make you to, maybe if you're a young lady, you become a, an old haggard person spiritually. That when somebody sees you, that is what they're seeing. They don't want to associate with you. If you are passing from such, when you bet it, those things will neutralize. And anybody responsible for it, if you will try to do it, that's how that turns. We shook that person and stop that person from doing it. And by God's grace, the favor you have not been receiving, marry proposal, every good thing that has not been happening in your life, you see it happening. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that somebody has actually found value. If you're one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and share it to everyone. I shall be helping a lot of people as you do so. May God bless you. Honor you, cause you to ride upon the high places of this. Still, your lady Jenny saying.